Okay, here we go. First line going on the stack pack to the beginnings of it. Gonna figure this one out too, like everything else. We're new to it. Well, I was making pretty good progress in making the stack pack cover. And I had it rolled out perfectly on the dock here. And then a gust of wind came and ruined it all. So then I had to scrunch it up into this big ball. There's like some wrenches tucked in there because I was using that to hold the, hold the sides down but then the gust of wind came and the rest of the roll of fabric started rolling down the dock and it almost went into the bay. I was so close to being finished all my marking and then I would be able to start cutting with my hot knife. So now I just have to wait for Jeff to come out and assist me hold this thing down so that the wind isn't going to carry it away again and then hopefully we'll be able to get the cutting done at least today. How's your system working out? Uh, it's going okay as long as there's not a really big gust of wind. That's why I'm here, everyone. Standing guard for the big gusts. So she's pulled a string out like this. Then I Got it run from this corner here to the far corner over there. And now she's going along because we don't have a longer ruler. And she's using this square to just slowly mark it with her chalk pencil, courtesy of sale, right? Soapstone. Well, not courtesy. Oh, it's soapstone. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so anyway, almost at the end. So I have finished drawing my line with a soapstone pencil. A little bit hard to see, but I'll just have to be very careful when I'm doing the cutting. Okay, Jeff has set up the hot knife for me. He is very nicely going and hooking it up to our shore power connection over there. I am very nervous. <laughs> This thing is a very intimidating tool. It's my first tool, I'm pretty sure. It's heavy too. I'm going to do a practice run over on this corner, I think, just to see how this hot knife actually works. And then other than that, it's go time. Okay, here we go. I am nervous. Got my tool. Heat her up. Oh, God. Okay, heat it up for a couple seconds. Yeah, I'm nervous. They say only to do it for like 15 second intervals. <laughs> Look at how straight that is. Look over there. Yeah, your lines are all right. the Yeah. It's pretty good so far. Yeah, maybe, yeah, but... This hot knife is awesome. Yeah. The bathroom hose that's here, <laughs> helping to hold it down. In the boating world, you do what you have to do. <laughs> Woo! Heck to the yeah! Look at this panel. It's going to be nice. Now I just got to do it one more time. Flip it over onto this, and then do it again, and then I'll be ready to go. Progress continues. Tracing for the other panel. And that's the end of the line. And not perfect, but eh. So how's the hot knife? Hot knife is pretty darn cool. I'm really happy that that's my first tool and it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay. Satisfying. <laughs> She's still going. <laughs> <laughs> yep, figuring it out. There's no light around here, but... Okay, honey, how's this fabric pile treating you? Wow. <laughs> it's everywhere. You look like Cinderella with a this huge proofy dress. This is a pretty intense project for a first-timer sewer to be doing. I don't know why I decided to do this. How are you liking the machine? Uh, yeah, the Sailrite machine is pretty good. We borrowed it from our friend Luke and it's working pretty well. I'm very scared to use the, the uh, presser foot on it because it goes too fast. So I'm using the hand, the hand crank mostly so I have a bit more control. It's working. You want to show off yeah, some of your stuff? It's so far. Yeah, that's fine. Here's one edge. Is that the good one? Oh, this is the bad one. <laughs> well, anyways, 
I had to sew this on, but don't First look too close. First time ever sewing. Look at this. This people. one is a terrible example. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know for our people that have never sewed either. Uh, it can't be that bad. Well, but don't look too closely there. And I have to cut off the edges along here. It's supposed so. to have this slight V shape here, people. If you're wondering, yeah. that's normal. And so then I sew that on. Have to cut that up. This is the worst example. Okay, we'll have to update. Stop censoring it. But we'll have to update later with. Um, better pieces after I get more comfortable with it and know a little bit more what I'm doing. But right now, this is the edge that is closest to the mast and I'm just going to be creating a hem here. This thing is a magnet and it sticks in here and then it stays still and then I can move it towards the presser foot and everything and so I can make a bigger amount of fabric on this side or a smaller amount and then it makes it so that it stays in a straight line. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do next is sew this hem. And we got some fancy thread on here, the last forever yeah. thread, thanks to our friends here again. And then over here, there's a mechanic working on our transmission, which is going in there. He's not here right now, I guess we went to get more stuff, but you can see our nav table situation. Yeah. And then I'm working out there, mounting that outboard mount to the rail. Okay. And there's all kinds of tools out here. But take a look at a really clean engine bay it's all white and nice yeah painted. we'll show them that at a better better view another time yeah okay, okay i'm gonna go back to work ciao for now okay. hey what do we have here oh yes our sail pack is coming along very nicely right now i am working on the hem for the um, bottom side, I have to make a double hem. So I did one layer already, and then this is the double-sided tape. And then I just go the rest of the way, peel the tape off, and then do that to be another hem like that. And then I'll sew it like that. Why don't do you, that on both sides. Why don't you tell the folks at home how much you love double-sided tape? Um, double-sided tape is Seriously, like we need to buy stocks in it. I freaking love it. I was just it. gonna say, I think your words were we need I wish we bought stock. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Um, what's the other thing that I was really, really enjoying? Double sided tape and ooh, insert here. Because I forget what it was, but there's two things that I'm absolutely loving. I'm actually getting into the groove of the selling part. Once I start during the day, I like sew for like four hours. I can't believe the progress you've made so fast, it's awesome. Yeah, this morning we um, took the old sail cover off. We dry fitted this one, just draped it over top of the boom and it looked really good. It fit um, pretty darn good and everything, so very excited. Sweet. So just doing the hem now and then after that, because um, this is the underside of the cover, and then I have to make these things on the bottom so that each side of them will clasp together on, um, on top of the boom um, and hold in the sail in it. And then underneath here, on the other side of these things here, are flaps and then that's where I have to do little insert pocket type things so that we can put the lazy jacks through them and hold it up. And then basically that's it. Other than making like a mast boot, if I make one, but I have to Gotta make do one. a pattern for that because I have no idea. Because we have um, a, a mast, mast step. step that's in the way and we have our whisker pull on the front side of the mast as well that I have to work around. So then it'll be done. It'll be a challenge. Okay, so now I'm going to take off this tape and then fold this over. Sail right sewing machine is a beast. It'll be able to sew through this no problem. Yeah. Just do it. And then this is done on this side, and then I'll work over and do this thing. Alright, we'll check back. Rocking it now. Stay pretty far from not knowing how to sew a button. Yeah, no or kidding. There she is. It's not fully set up properly yet, but um, yeah, we're gonna redo the lazy jacks so that they're a bit higher so that the sail will 
flake fit better when we drop it. Um, and then up at the front here, we're going to be attaching a line going from either side here that goes up a little bit so it'll hold it up. Because right now I get like this bit of a curve that's in the PVC pipe. And we want it to go more straight up like that instead. Do a little close up. So here's the mass boot. And it has my zipper. The back is all done with um, some, what's it called? For chafe protection. And there's the zippers on either side. Wraps around nicely here. Another zipper over here. And so far, I've decided that we're gonna put our lines up underneath here and then it'll protect them a bit from UV and stuff. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good for my first sewing project. And this is just temporary right now. We're gonna get some different bungee cord line for it to hold up this side of it. A nice zipper going down through here and then the sail flakes nicely in there. So down here, these grommets on either side, we will be um, pulling them more taut so that it pulls the whole foot of, of the cover here. And we, we can attach them, I think some people do it to like the bottom of the topping lift. 